usage of the fillers are and the philosophy of using the fillers are totally changed. If before it was that the patient is coming and just showing to doctor, I have the wrinkle here, I have wrinkle here, and it was just the filling, you know, from where came the name fillers. The nowadays it's about the restoring the volume loss, giving the lift, giving symmetry, you know, refreshing and accenting. So uh, there is nothing to be afraid about that it could be overdone or something because lots of the patients really, uh, really are afraid about it. Once this is filler, it means something will become very big. And actually with time changes, not just only skin structure, but changes all the substances under the skin. Fat tissue, cartilage, uh, skull, it means bones, everything is changing. And with the help of fillers, we can amazingly restore these lost parts and due to this loss of the volume we are starting to have the nasolabial folds, marionette folds, face looks saggy, eyes are looking sad and uh, that's how the fillers are working because the filler this is hyaluronic acid and it made like very very close to the natural hyaluronic acid which is in the skin so, uh, and the hyaluronic acid is like the matrix, like the base of the dermis, which is the real skin. So, and actually these fillers, when they are fading away, they are uh, getting used in the normal life processes of the skin. And sure, we will look more, you know, like uh, glowing and, and fresh. If we are talking starting from the temples, uh, then the lifting for the uh, mid face, then we can uh, correct the jawline, we can correct the nose. So we can correct the small wrinkles, we can correct the bigger wrinkles, we can add the volume if we need for the cheeks, we can add the volume if we need for the, for the under eyes if it's empty. So lips, sure, contouring of the lips, uh, augmentation of the lips. And for the lips, the beautiful part is that uh, whichever filler we are injecting, we are getting amazing improvement of the color of the lips as well. Everything is about the product and the injector. There are two things must be good. Um, sure, you see, we see lots of the unquality products which are made maybe before they were permanent fillers which can be used just uh, can be removed just uh, with the help of the surgery yeah so if we are talking about the uh, side effects actually the normally if the filler is good quality and the hands of the injector are good quality let's say so uh, only side effects what can be it can be swelling which can be it can be sensitivity which is normal and it can be some bruise which is normal because we are working with the needle, yeah? So, sure, a uh, very big question is about expectations. And we need to understand what we can get with the help of the fillers and what we expect to get. Usually there is no downtime. We need to understand that we can see the result of the filler immediately, but the um, look and, uh, and, uh, and the result will just improve like, uh, depends on the filler up to one month yeah so it will not become bigger but it will i'm usually telling the patients open more because the hyaluronic acid is attracting the water it means it will like the bloom yeah the filler and you will feel more fresh more beautiful after the filler no hot bathing first days don't play with this area even you feel that it's sensitive even you feel that it's sore even you feel maybe a little bit hard because our skin our body is reacting Especially, it's, uh, we feel it in the lips. When we are doing lips, uh, then it can be bigger swelling and it can be a little bit sensitive. So, and then, you know, we are not drinking hot drinks. We are not uh, playing with our lips, even we feel that maybe seems a little bit asymmetric in the beginning. It's about sun and smoking, it's like that, that the people who are like the lovers of tanning and then smokers for those people the fillers are fading away quicker that we need to understand and it's like that and the same is happening with the botox and sure you know it's proof that fillers and botox there is nothing to be afraid to do it in the young age there is nothing to reach like 40s or uh, late 30s to start to do something and it's proof that this is kind of prevention